A St. Lazar man can temporarily lose his sight at any time within a matter of hours or days. He's speaking out because his rare medical condition about his rare medical condition to raise awareness and help researchers at the Montreal Neurological Institute find a permanent cure. Cindy Sherwin explains. You to follow my finger yeah. with your eyes. Brett Murphy's first attack at age 35 began with searing migraines and sore eyes. The busy father of two young boys chalked it up to fatigue. It got progressively worse throughout the course of the week. My vision started to get worse. At the hospital, doctors ordered tests and ruled out a brain tumor, but couldn't diagnose him. The greatest shock, though, was still to come. I woke up in the morning to the nurse taking my vitals in the morning, and I could feel them put the blood pressure cuff on, and I said, oh, it's okay, you can turn the lights on, and I just just woken up. And they turned the lights on, and nothing changed. And I realized at that point, like, wow, I, I can't see anything. He was immediately transferred to the Montreal Neurological Institute. I didn't know what was going to happen next. I didn't know if I was ever going to be able to see my kids again. It was, it was very intense and dramatic and involved both eyes. And the speed with which he lost his vision was, was quite stunning. Red flags for neurologist Dr. Paul Giacomini that Brett likely had a neuroinflammatory disorder called MOGAD for short. It's rare. A Quebec registry has only about 60 patients or so listed, though there may be more since the condition is similar to an inflammation of the optic nerve that is a common early symptom of multiple sclerosis. Patients like Brett who have this illness, they, uh, they can sometimes get mistaken for MS and it's important to sort of make that distinction because the treatments for MS don't necessarily work. Based on his striking MOGAD-like symptoms, Brett was treated with high-dose corticosteroids. And we also combine that with a, a, a treatment called plasmapheresis, which is kind of like a filtration of the blood, um, similar in some respects to, to dialysis, but to filter out the antibodies that, that are important in causing the disease. Slowly but surely, the darkness started to lift. I woke up one morning and I could see the outline of the fluorescent light on the ceiling. I was like, oh my gosh, it's actually working. The diagnosis was officially confirmed with an antibody test weeks later. But in some ways, the battle was just beginning. He's had two additional episodes of MOGAD since then. His vision was restored, but his optic nerves get damaged each time. And the steroids have long-term side effects. But there's hope. We're part of a a uh, multi-center uh, international study that's evaluating an existing monoclonal antibody therapy that's been used in neuromyelitis optica spectrum disorder, a, a related condition. The goal is to determine if it will also help suppress MOGAD. I, I could be blind and permanently blind. I could lose color vision. I may never be able to drive a car again. I may never be able to do a lot of things again, right? So to have access to a medication that would be, you know, designed and specifically treating this disease would be would be game-changing for Brett and for others who never know when the light might suddenly start to fade Cindy Sherwin CTV News